While the guys are sleeping, I'll go outside and get some fresh air, because it's very stuffy in the house. Just look, some multicolored portals have appeared near our house. We need to wake up the guys as soon as possible so that they can see it. Hey guys, wake up quickly. You should see this, on the street, near our house, some multicolored portals appeared. Hey guys, look what I found. Mysterious portal in Minecraft. Wow, where do you think it leads? Maybe this is a portal to the nether? I've heard that you can find a lot of interesting resources there. Maybe this is a portal to the end? I've always wanted to fight the Ender Dragon. Well guys, let's take a chance and go through this portal. Perhaps incredible adventures and treasures await us. I agree. Let's check out what awaits us behind this mysterious portal. Let's go guys. But be careful, who knows what might be waiting for us on the other side. Nothing is safe in Minecraft. The main thing is that we have good equipment and enough resources. A few moments later... Wow, I appeared in some yellow room. I need to quickly see what is behind this door. Oh no, this place is full of lava. You need to be as careful as possible while passing this test. I don't want to burn in the lava, so I'll do it very slowly to make sure I'm as confident as possible with each jump. Great, I'm in the next room. She looks harmless. Ah, this door is locked and I need to find the key. Maybe the resident will give it to me. The resident will give me the key if only I collect 10 pumpkins for him. I think it will be easy. With the help of an axe, I will collect a pumpkin for a villager in exchange for a key very quickly. You need to collect as many pumpkins as possible so that you definitely have enough to exchange it for a key with a resident. Great. I passed another test and now we are in a new room. This door is closed again. We need to think about how we can open it. There is some kind of lever here and red dust is scattered everywhere. To begin with, I will choose a sword for myself because it seems to me that danger awaits me behind this door. And after that, I will collect all the red dust with which I can open this door. I'm sure this door will open with a lever. Great, we are on the right track. I am confident that I can open this door now. Now I'll press the lever to open this door. We did a great job opening this door. Hey. Just look at how many monsters there are here. It was not in vain that I chose a sword with which I could defeat them. I saw these monsters during the passage of the second part of Poppy Playtime 2. It was a very dangerous monster. I'm so glad that I can now take revenge on them for everything. I'm great at dealing with this huge number of monsters. I'm like a real gladiator fighting in a coliseum. Great. I managed to defeat almost all the monsters in this room. I hope that my friends will be able to pass through these secret portals. Great. I defeated all the monsters. They keep SpongeBob in a cage. You need to break this cage as soon as possible in order to release him to freedom. Great. I almost made a pass for SpongeBob. I see in the corner a huge number of diamonds that I will take for myself, because it was not in vain that I passed these tests. These diamonds will be my reward for my efforts. Great. I can run back to the guys. A few moments later... Oh no, where did I end up? I need to get out of here as soon as possible. But how do I get to the other side? There's lava everywhere here. Maybe this resident will help me somehow. He can sell me an eater pearls for 10 diamonds. Great. I hope I can find enough diamonds to get to the other side. Hey, just look how many diamonds there are. I need to collect them as soon as possible in order to exchange them for ender pearls, with which I can fly to the other side and not drown in the lava. Great, I managed to acquire the ender pearls. Now I can get to the other side. I need to throw the pearls as carefully as possible, otherwise I might miss and fall into the lava. I'm doing great, but I also need to be as careful as possible so as not to trip and fall into the lava. I'm doing great, I'm confident that I can pass this test. I almost died from hitting the wall. I need to be a little more careful. There's one last step left. Great, I managed to pass this test. Hey, just look at how many swords there are. I think I should take at least one with me. There may be danger ahead of me. The sword won't hurt me at all. Great, I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I saw this monster when I played FNAF. It is a very dangerous monster. His name is Freddy the Bear. I am sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great, I managed to defeat all the monsters. Now I need to free the doll from the squid game, which they keep in a cage as quickly as possible. I was lucky that I managed to find a pickaxe with which I could break the iron fence in order to free the doll from the cage so that she could go about her business. Great, now the doll can be free and I'll quickly run to my guys. A few moments later... Hey, where did I end up? I'm in some pink room. I need to quickly see what's behind this door. 
Oh no, there's some kind of test here. I need to run through this tunnel as quickly as possible, otherwise I might lose all my health on these spikes. I hope everything works out for me because I don't want to die here at all. Great, I managed to pass the first test. Now I need to think about how I can get through this sand, because I will be breaking it with my hand for a very long time. Hey, look what I saw. This is a miner's drill with which I can very quickly break all this sand in a matter of minutes. I'm doing great! I think this is the easiest test that I could have encountered on my way. Great! I almost broke all the sand. Hey, just look at how many swords there are here. Great, I found myself some iron armor. I'm sure that some danger awaits me ahead. I'll put it on myself right away. I need to take some kind of sword with me. I'm sure it will be useful to me in the next test. At the very top, I noticed a lever with which I would open the door for the next test. I need to immediately prepare for the fact that danger may await me behind this door. As I expected, mutant pigs were waiting for me behind this door and wanted to kill me. It's not for nothing that I immediately put on iron armor and took a sword with which I can easily defeat them. Great! I managed to defeat almost all the monsters. There is only a small handful left, which I will scatter very quickly since I fight very well with a sword. They have no chance to resist me. Great! I managed to get rid of all the monsters. Oh no, this door turned out to be closed. We need to try to find the key to the door in these drawers. I'm sure I'll be able to find him. I feel like the key must be somewhere nearby. Great, I managed to find the key to the lock. Let's see what's behind this door. Oh, how did it happen that behind this door there's again a huge pile of monsters? I didn't expect to see them here at all, but it's okay. I've already walked a huge part of the way and I can't lose here to these pathetic pigs. Now I will show them what a good fight means. They probably think that one cannot cope with 10. Great! I almost managed to get rid of almost all the monsters. Now they will never bother me again. Oh no, they're keeping Ryder from Paw Patrol in a cage. We need to help him as soon as possible so that he does not die of hunger. Great, I managed to free Ryder, now he is free. I will take all the diamonds from these monsters. This will be my reward for passing the tests, as well as for freeing Ryder. Great, let's quickly run to the guys. A few moments later. Hey guys, just look. I ended up in some strange place. We need to quickly see what is behind this door. Oh no, it's full of lava and only a thin path of glass panels. I need to be as careful as possible so as not to trip and fall into the lava. I will move as slowly and carefully as possible in order to burn in the lava. Great, I can already see the door at the end of the tunnel. We need to get to her quickly to get out of here. Oh no, here again I will have to be very careful to pass this test and not stumble upon these sharp thorns from which I could die. I will move as slowly and carefully as possible so as not to step on the thorns. Hey, just look at how many swords there are here. I need to take some kind of sword with me. I'm sure it will be useful to me in the next test. I need to immediately prepare for the fact that danger may await me behind this door. As I expected, evil zombies were waiting for me behind this door and wanted to kill me. It's not for nothing that I took a sword with which I can easily defeat them. Great! I dealt with all the zombies. Now I need to figure out how to open this door so that I can go to the next test. Great! I found a lever in the chest with which I will open this door. Oh, how did it happen that behind this door there is again a huge pile of monsters? I didn't expect to see them here at all, but it's okay. I've already walked a huge part of the way, and I can't lose here to these pathetic pigs. Now I will show them what a good fight means. They probably think that one cannot cope with ten. Great, I almost managed to get rid of almost all the monsters, now they will never bother me again. Just look. Zombies are holding Talking Tom in a cage. How lucky I am to find a pickaxe with which I can break down this iron fence and help Talking Tom get free. Great, I was able to help save Talking Tom. Now I will take all their diamonds for myself as my reward for passing these difficult tests, as well as for freeing Talking Tom from his cage. Great, let's quickly run home to the guys. A few moments later. Wow guys, we're back from those portals and we have diamonds? It was an incredible adventure. Yes, it was incredible. So many new mobs, resources, and interesting locations. And we found diamonds. We have made great progress. I just couldn't think of what the tests finally looked like on the portal. And there we found diamonds that will be very useful for our future projects. That was an epic reflection and we deserved our diamonds. Now we have even more resources to develop our buildings. Minecraft makes such adventures so exciting. I'm glad we had a great time and earned a lot of diamonds. Yes, it was amazing. The next time mysterious portals are found, we will have even more adventures and opportunities. I agree. Let's continue to explore Minecraft together and explore all the new mysterious places and treasures. Diamonds are just the beginning. 
We still have a lot of work and adventures ahead. Let's think and create together. What a wonderful day it is to go to the mine for diamonds. Hey guys, wake up quickly. Let's go into the mine and find some diamonds. I heard that they are very valuable and will help us create powerful equipment. Sure sounds great, but be careful. Mines can be dangerous places. Let's get ready first. Do we have torches and enough provisions? Yes, I have enough torches to light our way. And I brought some food with me so that we wouldn't get hungry. Great! Also, remember to bring enough tools with you. A pickaxe made from iron or diamonds will be the most effective for mining diamonds. I have an iron pickaxe. I think it should do the job. Do you have spare tools with you in case something breaks? Yes, I brought an extra pickaxe and some wood to make more tools if needed. In a mine, it is always better to be prepared for the unexpected. I agree. I made us a pair of iron swords so we could protect ourselves from the monsters. It is important to remember that some mobs in the mine can be quite dangerous. Great. We've dug up enough diamonds and can now leave this mine. Hey guys, look. Some suspicious resident here threw some kind of card at us. Let's take a look at it as quickly as possible. Hey, just look. On this map, there are some labyrinths and an arrow that points the way to them. I think we need to buy weapons and run to the merchant as soon as possible to buy swords. I'm sure that danger in the form of monsters will await us there. I believe that buying swords would be the right decision in order to go treasure hunting. Because at any moment we may be attacked by robbers or monsters with whom we will have to fight. A few moments later. I'm so glad that this resident came up to us and gave us a treasure map. I am confident that we will be able to pass all the tests. We will cope with all difficulties and we will also defeat all monsters. Hey guys, we found huge labyrinths. Just look at them. I'm sure we'll find plenty of challenges and huge rewards there. There will be a lot of diamonds and gold there, with the help of which we can make a diamond armor and buy anything we want. Oh no, we're lost in the maze. We need to find another way to get inside the maze. I have an idea. Let's climb this mountain and climb along the top into the labyrinth, where we can find treasures in the form of diamonds. Great, I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger awaited me in this labyrinth. I am sure that I can cope with them alone, because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great. I managed to defeat almost all the monsters. There is only a small handful left, which I will scatter very quickly since I fight very well with a sword. They have no chance to resist me. Great. We've collected our reward in the form of diamonds and now we can move on to the next maze to earn even more diamonds. I am sure that we will be able to pass all the tests and deal with all the monsters on our way. A few moments later. A few moments later. Oh no, we're lost in the maze. We need to find another way to get inside the maze. Hey, look at the chickens standing there. I have a great idea to collect wheat seeds and feed the chickens, which will fly all over the maze and we can get inside the maze, where we can take our treasures. Great, we've collected enough wheat seeds to feed the chickens, which will help us get inside the maze, where we can take our treasures. Great, we were able to get inside the maze. Great, I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I saw this monster when I played FNF. It is a very dangerous monster. His name is Freddy the Bear. I am sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. 
I almost defeated all the monsters. Great. We were able to deal with all the zombies. Now we can collect our reward for completing this test. We have earned a huge pile of diamonds and we will not stop there. I am sure that we will be able to go through the rest of the labyrinths and we will cope with the monsters that guard these treasures. A few moments later. Oh no, we're lost in the maze. We need to find another way to get inside the maze. I have a great idea. We did this with the first maze. Let's dig as much as we can more land to climb this maze and we can walk along the walls of this maze and get inside to collect our reward after we deal with the zombies. Great. We were able to get to the very top of this labyrinth and now we just have to prepare for a fight with the monsters guarded by our diamonds. Great, I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I saw this monster when I played FNAF. It is a very dangerous monster. His name is Freddy the Bear. I am sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great, we were able to deal with all the zombies. Now we can collect our reward for completing this test. Let's quickly collect our reward and pass the last test in which we can earn a bunch of diamonds. A few moments later, A few moments later. Oh no, we're lost in the maze. We need to find another way to get inside the maze. I have a great idea. We have pickaxes with which we can cut a passage into the labyrinth and get our reward in the form of diamonds. I think this is a great idea and we will succeed. Great, I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I saw this monster when I played Fenaf. It is a very dangerous monster. His name is Freddy the Bear. I am sure that I can cope with them alone, because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great, we were able to deal with all the monsters, and now we will take our diamonds. I am very happy. Guys, thank you all so much for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel. We are very glad to see you on our channel. Wait for new videos, they come out every day. While the guys are sleeping, I'll go outside and get some fresh air, because it's very stuffy in the house. Hey, just look. Some multicolored doors have appeared near our house. We need to see what's inside. Wow, there are some portals there. We need to wake up the guys as soon as possible so they can see this. Hey guys, wake up quickly. You should see this. On the street near our house, some multicolored portals appeared. Guys, why is it taking you so long to wake up? We must quickly jump into these portals to pass all these tests and earn a lot of diamonds. Look guys, what beautiful multicolored doors. They seem to lead somewhere interesting. Yes, they are really attractive. I think they can take us to a fairy tale world or to another planet. I agree, this looks like the entrance to an amazing adventure. Let's explore each door and choose where to go. What if each door leads to a different time? We can go to the past or the future. This sounds exciting. I've always dreamed of seeing dinosaurs or robots. Let's choose a door and find out where it leads us. A few moments later. Oh no. This place is full of lava. You need to be as careful as possible while passing this test. I need to jump from one block to another to avoid falling into the lava. I don't want to burn in the lava, so I'll do it very slowly. 
so I can be as confident as possible in every jump I make. To begin with, I will choose a sword for myself, because it seems to me that danger awaits me. Great, I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I was already ready for a fight with a huge bunch of zombies. I am sure that I can cope with them alone, because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great. I managed to defeat all the monsters. Now I can have a little fun playing the drums. I used to play the drums often, and I was always great at it. Let's not waste time because we need to pass this test as quickly as possible. Great. I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I was already ready for a fight with a huge bunch of zombies. I am sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great. I managed to defeat almost all the monsters. There is only a small handful left, which I will scatter very quickly since I fight very well with a sword. They have no chance to resist me. Great. I managed to get rid of all the monsters. Now I will collect my reward for completing this difficult test. And I'll quickly run to the guys. I didn't expect there to be so many diamonds here. I am very glad that I was able to earn so many diamonds. I will use it to buy a new house and also make myself new diamond armor and equipment. After this, not a single zombie can defeat me. I will be the strongest in all of Minecraft. A few moments later. Wow, I appeared in some scary room. Let's quickly see what's behind this door. Hey, just look at how many swords there are here. Great, I found myself a great sword. I'm sure that some danger awaits me ahead. I'll take it in my hands right away. I'm sure it will be useful to me in the next test. Great, I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I didn't expect there to be so many of them here. They are very strong and angry. The most important thing is to remain calm. Then I will be able to defeat them. I'm sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Wow, look what I found. A huge pile of diamonds and emeralds. I'm a rich man now, it's amazing. I found a real treasure chest. Now I will have many opportunities to create and develop my city, how cool. I can make the strongest and most powerful tools and armor. Emeralds, by the way, are very valuable in trade with village residents. I was able to get a lot of useful items and resources. I can just imagine what an amazing house or castle I can build using these diamonds and emeralds. My creativity will be noticeable and admired by others. Oh no, I didn't expect to see so many zombies here. I've already warmed up in the previous fight, so I'm confident I can handle them again. Great! I managed to defeat almost all the monsters in this room. I hope that my friends will be able to pass through these secret portals. I need to free the civilian and run to the guys as soon as possible to show how many diamonds I have mined. A few moments later... Hey, just look at how many swords there are here. Great, I found myself a great sword. I'm sure that some danger awaits me ahead. I'll take it in my hands right away. I'm sure it will be useful to me in the next test. Great, I was right, I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I didn't expect there to be so many of them here. They are very strong and angry. The most important thing is to remain calm, then I will be able to defeat them. I am sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great, I managed to pass the first test, now I can move on. Oh no, this place is full of lava. You need to be as careful as possible while passing this test. I need to jump from one block to another to avoid falling into the lava. I don't want to burn in the lava, so I'll do it very slowly to make sure I'm as confident as possible with each jump. Oh no, I didn't expect to see so many zombies here. I've already warmed up in the previous fight, so I'm confident I can handle them again. Great, I managed to defeat almost all the monsters in this room. You need to finish them off as quickly as possible in order to free the civilian from the cage. I was very lucky to find a pickaxe here that will help me break down this fence. How could it happen that this civilian ended up in a cage with these zombies? It's so good that I will save him and he can be free. Wow, just look how many diamonds are in this chest. I'm sure my friends will be happy that we were able to earn so many diamonds. Great, let's quickly run to the guys. I am sure that they too have already managed to cope with all the tests. A few moments later... Hey, look where I ended up. This is some kind of playground. Looks very nice. There is a hoop and a basketball. I'll try to throw it on the first try. Cool, 
I managed to throw the ball into the hoop the first time. Oh no, Talking Tom is in an iron cage, we need to help him get out of there as quickly as possible. I was very lucky to find an iron pickaxe to break down the fence and help him get free, we need to see what is in the chest as soon as possible. Wow, this is some strong sword, we need to take it with you. Great, I was right, I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. Just look, there are some traps here, you need to be as careful as possible not to get caught in them. Oh no, Talking Tom fell into a trap. Too bad we lost him. Oh no, this place is full of lava. You need to be as careful as possible while passing this test. I need to jump from one block to another to avoid falling into the lava. I don't want to burn in the lava, so I'll do it very slowly so I can be as confident as possible in every jump I make. I didn't expect there to be so many of them here. They are very strong and angry. The most important thing is to remain calm then I will be able to defeat them. I am sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Oh no, this place is very high and full of lava. You need to be very careful while passing the test. There is some kind of chest here and it is full of diamonds. I'm very happy that I was able to collect my reward. Let's run quickly to the guys. A few moments later. Hooray, we did it. We passed all the tests and finally received a reward. A bunch of diamonds. This is simply amazing. We put so much effort and time into passing these tests and it finally paid off. Now we have the opportunity to create the most powerful tools and armor. We will become real warriors in this world. Congratulations guys, your achievement is great. Don't forget to share your wealth and help each other. Hey, just look, some colorful towers have appeared near our house. Let's run to them as soon as possible to try to get inside to find out what is there. Let's check if the doors are open. Oh no, it seems to me that all the doors are closed and we won't be able to get inside. We need to figure out where we can find the key to get inside. Hey, maybe we can ask this villager where we can get the key. Let's run to him quickly, I'm sure he can help us. I thought that he could help us. We need to find about 10 diamonds to buy the key. I think we should go to the mine to dig up some diamonds. Great, I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger awaited me in this cave. I am sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great, I managed to defeat almost all the monsters. There's only a small handful left which I will scatter very quickly since I fight very well with a sword. They have no chance to resist me. Great, I managed to get rid of all the monsters. A few moments later. Great, we have freed the cave from monsters. Now we can safely dig up the required amount of diamonds to buy the key to the door. I'm sure we can dig up diamonds very quickly. We need to dig up as many diamonds as possible. Otherwise, the merchant will not sell us the key with which we can get inside these huge multicolored houses. I'm sure we can find a lot of interesting things there. Great, we have dug up enough diamonds. Now we can all go to the merchant together to buy the key from him. While the guys are digging diamonds during this time, I will run to the seller and buy a key so as not to wait for the guys. I will run to the resident to buy a key and open all the locks on the doors in these multicolored towers. I can't wait to go inside these houses to find out what is hiding behind these doors. It will be great fun. Great, I opened all the locks and now we can go inside and go through all the tests. I'm sure we can pass them very quickly. Hey girls, I'm already very scared. It's very high here. We have to be very careful while going through this test. Jump as carefully as possible because you will either crash into other blocks or fall into the lava and burn. We're doing great. We've almost reached the very top. I can't wait to find out what awaits us there. I'm sure there's a really cool reward there, like diamonds. Oh, how did it happen that behind this door there is again a huge pile of monsters? I didn't expect to see them here at all, but it's okay. I've already walked a huge part of the path, and I can't lose here to these pathetic zombies. Now I will show them what a good fight means. They probably think that one cannot cope with ten. Great, we were able to deal with all the zombies. Now we can collect our reward for completing this test. Wow, we earned a lot of diamonds. Let's quickly run to the next building to pass a new test and earn even more diamonds. I am sure that working as a team, we will do this easily and simply. We will pass all the tests along the way. Hey, where have we ended up? Oh no, here's a new challenge. We need to run to the very top of this staircase with spikes as quickly as possible. Otherwise, I can lose all my health on these spikes. 
I hope everything works out for me, because I don't want to die here at all. Great. We are almost at the very top. All that remains is to jump to the other side. We did great. We need to immediately prepare for the fact that zombies will attack us. As I expected, evil zombies were waiting for me behind this door and wanted to kill me. It's not for nothing that I took a sword with which I can easily defeat them. Great. We were able to deal with all the zombies. Now we can collect our reward for completing this test. Wow, we earned a lot of diamonds. Let's quickly run to the next building to pass a new test and earn even more diamonds. I can't wait to find out what test we now have to go through. I think that there will be something difficult, but this does not scare us. We have already passed a lot of tests, and this test will not be something unusual for us. You need to try to knock the key out of this distributor. I think it won't be that easy. Oh, how can it be? There is a lot of garbage here that will not help us pass this test in any way. Maybe press the button a little faster so that the key falls out faster. Well, where is this key? I can't wait to start passing a new test. And also receive a reward in the form of diamonds for completing it. Great! We managed to pass the first test. I hope the monsters won't attack us now. Oh, no! That hatch is closed again and we need the key to open it. I think we need to dig up as many emeralds as possible in order to buy the key to this castle from the cellar. Great. I've almost collected enough emeralds. I'll dig up a little more so that I definitely have enough to buy the key. Great. I think that will be enough. Great. I was able to buy a key. Now we need to prepare for the fact that zombies can attack us at any second, and we must have time to repel them. Oh no. We got to a new test and it turned out to be a maze of chests. We need to be as careful as possible because we can get lost here and we'll no longer be able to find a way out of here to get out. Great, we were able to find a way out of the maze. We need to prepare to fight zombies. As I expected, evil zombies were waiting for us here and wanted to kill us. It's not for nothing that I took a sword with which I can easily defeat them. There were many more of them here than before and they became much stronger. I didn't expect to see them here at all, but it's okay. I've already walked a huge part of the way, and I can't lose here to these pathetic pigs. Now I will show them what a good fight means. They probably think that one cannot cope with ten. Great! We were able to deal with all the zombies. Now we can collect our reward for completing this test. Wow, we earned a lot of diamonds. Let's quickly run to the next building to pass a new test and earn even more diamonds. Guys, we have already reached the last test. There is very little left. Hey look! There's some kind of chest here. We need to look into it quickly. Maybe we'll find something interesting. Great. I think this pig will help me pass this test much easier than others. We need to use this opportunity. I've never ridden a pig. It's a paddle and up. I was very lucky to pass this test while riding a pig since all the arrows fly towards it and I do not receive any damage. Great. We've almost completed this section and now we need to prepare for the fact that evil and dangerous zombies will be waiting for us, which we need to defeat in order to get our diamonds. As I expected, evil zombies were waiting for us here and wanted to kill us. It's not for nothing that I took a sword with which I can easily defeat them. There were many more of them here than before and they became much stronger. I am sure that I can cope with them alone, because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great, I managed to defeat almost all the monsters. There is only a small handful left, which I will scatter very quickly since I fight very well with a sword. But no chance to resist me. Great! We were able to deal with all the zombies. Now we can collect our reward for completing this test. Just look. These zombies killed Peppa Pig and fried her. It looks quite tasty. Let's take it with us and eat it at home. Wow! We earned a lot of diamonds. Let's quickly run to the next building to pass a new test and earn even more diamonds. I'm very glad that we were able to cope with all the challenges and earned a lot of diamonds. It was a very interesting adventure. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and wait for new videos on our channel. See you soon. Wow, guys, we passed all the challenges. And the coolest thing is that we earned a whole bunch of diamonds. This is absolutely amazing. Who would have thought that we would go through all these difficult tests and receive such a reward? We now have diamonds that can be used to create the most powerful tools in armor. We will be invincible. I'm so proud of us. We have proven that the team can cope with any challenges and reach heights. Exactly. But the most important thing is that we had a wonderful team that supported each other along the way. We can achieve anything together. While the guys are sleeping, I'll go for a walk and get some fresh air. I would like to see what is behind this forest. Hey, just look. Some kind of diamond ladder has appeared near our camp. We need to wake up the guys as soon as possible so they can see this. 
Hey guys, wake up quickly. You should see this. Some kind of diamond staircase appeared on the street near our house. You need to go and know what is at the very top. Let's hurry up. I'm sure that a very fun and interesting adventure awaits us, with lots of challenges and huge rewards. A few moments later. Wow, look! There's a diamond staircase in heaven. I think we should climb it. Who knows what awaits us at the top? Yeah, that looks incredible. But be careful. There may be danger waiting for us at the top. I heard that there might be monsters or other creatures there. Seriously, monsters? But on the other hand, we may encounter something unique and interesting. Maybe there is a reward or treasure waiting for us there. I agree, guys. There are risks, but the rewards can be huge. We must be ready for any challenge. Maybe we should prepare ourselves to fight monsters and have weapons and protection with us. Good idea. Let's equip ourselves with weapons and protective equipment so that we can be prepared for any situation. And perhaps we should consult someone who has experience in fighting monsters. Yes, we will need an expert opinion. Maybe we'll find monster hunters or people who specialize in such adventures. They will be able to share their knowledge and help us develop a strategy. Don't forget that we all need to be physically fit and ready for physical challenges. Climbing the diamond staircase, even without monsters, will require strength and endurance. Exactly. Let's start training and getting ready for the physical challenge. We must be prepared for any obstacles that may come our way. I am confident that with our determination and willingness, we can defeat the monsters and get the reward. Let's remember to be safe and stick together as we climb. Exactly, together we are stronger. Let's proceed with caution and support each other during this exciting adventure. I can't wait to see what's in store for us at the top. Let's go guys, forward to the diamond staircase and our reward. Yes, let our adventure begin. We climb the stairs and prepare for any obstacles that will come our way. A few moments later. Let's quickly go to the very top to get a reward there. I am sure that a lot of challenges will await us, as well as monsters. I am sure that it was not in vain that we took swords with us in order to fight monsters. Great. I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I didn't expect there to be so many of them here. They are very strong and angry. Great! We managed to defeat all the zombies and now we can move on to the next test. I think it will be more complex. Oh no, this place is full of lava. You need to be as careful as possible while passing this test. I need to jump from one block to another to avoid falling into the lava. I don't want to burn in the lava, so I'll do it very slowly so I can be as confident as possible in every jump I make. Oh no, I didn't expect to see so many zombies here. I've already warmed up in the previous fight, so I'm confident I can handle them again. This will be the most difficult fight with zombies. The most important thing during a fight is not to fall down. Otherwise, I will die immediately. It's very high here, so I need to be very careful. Great. I managed to defeat almost all the monsters in this room. You need to finish them off as quickly as possible in order to free the civilian from the cage. I was very lucky to find a pickaxe here that will help me break down- Let's free these residents from their cage as soon as possible. Hey, just look. There's some kind of chest there. Let's open it quickly to find out what's inside. There is a lot of gold here, we have become very rich. Let's free another resident as soon as possible. Let's free these residents from their cage as soon as possible. Hey, just look. There's some kind of chest there. Let's open it quickly to find out what's inside. There is a lot of gold here, we have become very rich. Let's free another resident as soon as possible. Great, we managed to pass this test without losses, now we need to jump down and fight a huge number of zombies. Great, I was right, I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I didn't expect there to be so many of them here. They are very strong and angry. But the most important thing is to remain calm, then I will be able to defeat them. I am sure that I can cope with them alone because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Oh no, I didn't expect to see so many zombies here. I was already warmed up in the previous fight, so I'm not sure I can handle them again. I think we need to run away from them as quickly as possible to the top so that they can't get to us. 
I think this will be the most correct decision. Great! I was right. I should have taken a sword with me. I really felt that danger was waiting for me behind that door. I didn't expect there to be so many of them here. They are very strong and angry. The most important thing is to remain calm. Then I will be able to defeat them. I am sure that I can cope with them alone, because we are brave ponies who always cope with any difficulties that come our way. I almost defeated all the monsters. Great, let's quickly go upstairs. We've almost passed all the tests. Hey, just look at what a cunning trap there is. I think we shouldn't step on those pressure plates. I am sure that there is dynamite under them, and if we step on this slab, we will fall down and crash. I was right that there was dynamite there. Be careful when you jump over the trap so you don't fall through. Wow, look at this huge mutant zombie. He looks very dangerous. I need to fight him and win. This mutant zombie looks very strong. I have enough weapons and armor to deal with him. I have prepared for this moment. I have a sword, but I have to be careful and use my fighting skills. It must be remembered that mutant zombies have increased strength and endurance. I'll try to keep him at a distance and attack when I have a good chance. I also have to be prepared for his attacks and dodge or block them. Great, I have it under control. If I run out of health, I will need to retreat and recover. I feel like I'm ready to fight this mutant zombie. Wish me good luck. Phew, that was intense, but I defeated the mutant zombie. Here he lies dead. I achieved my victory. Fabulous. I dealt with it. My courage and skill in battle were impressive. I'm a real hero. We made it to the very top. And now we can collect our reward in the form of diamond armor, which we will immediately put on. And we will also collect a bunch of diamond and emerald blocks as our reward for passing the most difficult test of our lives. I am very happy that we were able to get to the very top safe and sound. Now we can buy ourselves anything we want. We have a lot of diamonds. We will build the most beautiful house in Minecraft, and we won't have to live in the forest. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe to the channel and wait for new videos on our channel. See you soon. Hello, my dear viewers. Glad to see you again on our channel. Today we have a special video in which I, along with Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Applejack, go on an exciting adventure in the Arctic in the game Minecraft. We decided to take on the challenge and spend 100 days in the harsh and cold arctic biome. Here we will find extreme conditions, ice caves, snowstorms, and much more. But we are not afraid of difficulties, because we have each other and your support. Together we will build a cozy house and explore the surrounding area. Every day will be full of new discoveries and interesting tasks. We look forward to sharing it all with you. I want to say a huge thank you to each of you for your support and love. Your comments and likes always inspire us and help us become better. You are our family and we appreciate each of you. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single episode of our adventure in the Arctic. We promise you a lot of exciting moments, funny adventures, and of course, unforgettable moments of friendship. Thank you for being with us. Let's go on an unforgettable trip to the Arctic together in Minecraft. I'm so excited to be here with you and share our adventures in the Arctic. This will be a real test of our courage and perseverance. I am sure that we will cope with any difficulties, because we are a team. Our team is an irresistible blend of magic, friendship, and courage. We will support each other, help in difficult moments, and rejoice together in every achievement. After all, together we are strong. Don't forget to follow our adventures to see how we cope with the challenges of the Arctic and support us with your comments and likes. Your support is our motivation. Let's create unforgettable moments in Minecraft together. Hello friends, Applejack is in action. I'm so glad we're heading to the Arctic, a place where incredible adventures and a sea of apples or no apples await us. Ha ha ha! And what could be better than sleigh racing? I can already imagine how we will race across the snowy expanses, fighting for first place. It will be real adrenaline and fun. 
Friends, I am so grateful that we have all of you to share in these incredible adventures. We are creating a real team that can cope with any challenges. Let's plunge into a world of adventure and create unforgettable memories. Get ready for incredible adventures. We go to the Arctic in search of adventure. But, you know, I'm a little worried. Cold and danger may be unfamiliar to us, but I know we have the most amazing team and we always support each other. Together, we can overcome any fears and difficulties. Let's remember to be considerate of each other and the nature around us. Together, we can find joy and adventure without harming anyone. Fluttershy, don't worry. You and I and our team are real super friends. We can handle any adventure in the Arctic. I know the cold can be scary, but imagine how many new experiences and fun awaits us. Hey, Applejack. Finally, we are back. It was a real challenge, but we did it. Our friends, Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie, are waiting for us in the shack. You won't believe the adventures we went through during these 10 days in the Arctic. Snowstorms, frozen rivers, but we did not give up. We survived and overcame all difficulties together. I'm so glad to be back in our cozy little shack. This was a real test of our friendship and cooperation. We have proven that together we can overcome any difficulties. And you know what's most interesting? We found hidden treasure caves and even met a rare snow golem. We had so many exciting moments and incredible discoveries. Now that we are all together, we can relax, share impressions, and plan new adventures. The Arctic will not surrender to us yet. We are ready for new challenges and exciting moments. Thank you for being with us on our journey. Your support and comments are always important to us. Let's continue to share our Minecraft adventures and create unforgettable moments together. Hey guys, I think we should focus on gathering resources to build our perfect home in the Arctic. After all, we need a place where we can hide from snowstorms and cold. We will need boards to build the walls and roof of our house. We can use wood that grows here in the Arctic to create a strong structure. And let's not forget about the furniture. We can make tables, beds, and cabinets from wood to make our home cozy and comfortable. And of course, don't forget about flower pots to add a little nature to our interiors. What about the fireplace? We can collect stones and bricks to build a fireplace and warm ourselves in it on cold winter evenings. It will be a real cozy atmosphere. Yes, let's gather all the necessary resources to make our home the perfect sanctuary. We will work together to speed up the process. We can create a real paradise for our team in the Arctic. And don't forget that we can use snow to create beautiful decorations around our home. This will add even more magic and a wonderful view to us. Together we can build an incredible home that reflects our strength and friendship. Well, we have collected all the necessary resources. It's time to start building our cozy home. I suggest building it underground so it is well insulated from the cold. Let's build it from wood to create even more warmth and comfort. Wood will be an excellent material for our underground house. But let's not forget to leave the windows so we can enjoy the light and views of nature. This will help us maintain a sense of freedom and closeness with nature. We can create multiple hidden passages to add mystery and adventure to our home. Don't forget to make the ceilings high so that we feel comfortable and free. And let's add some plants and flowers to make our home more lively and pleasant. We'll be creating cozy and durable walls, ceilings and floors for our wooden house in this room. And Pinkie Pie will do this in the other room. I chose wood because it is natural and will create a warm atmosphere inside our home. I'm using the wood plants we collected earlier. Like this, we carefully connect them to create strong and reliable walls. I try to make every scene and connection perfect so that our home is not only beautiful, but also durable. I will attach wood beams to the walls to create a frame for the ceiling. Then, using wood planks, I will bridge the holes between the beams to create a smooth surface. This will help us keep the heat inside the house and create a pleasant environment. I will lay wood planks on a prepared level area to create a durable and aesthetically pleasing... We've almost completed the outside of the house. All that remains is to work on the interior. Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie, let's discuss what we will do next. I suggest doing the interior of the house, the interior of our wooden underground house. I suggest considering various ideas and options for creating a cozy and functional space. You're right, Applejack. We need to do the interior. But what should we do? And how do we arrange this? Maybe we can leave this matter for later. What about lighting? I suggest installing small lamps along the walls and ceiling to create soft and pleasant lighting. We can also use candles or kerosene lamps to add a romantic mood in the evening. It's important to remember our unique personal interests and hobbies. 
Let's create a small corner for each of us where we can do our own thing. Dear viewers, it's time to say goodbye, and I would like to express all my gratitude to you for being with us throughout this video. Your support and comments always inspire us and help us become better at what we do. We are very grateful for your support and attention to our channel. Without you, my beautiful viewers, we wouldn't be here doing what I love. And I promise you that we will continue to delight you with new and interesting videos. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like and share the video with your friends. Together, we will create a wonderful community where everyone will find inspiration and comfort. Thank you for your love and support. I'm so glad I can share my adventures with you. Be happy, take care of yourself, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye, my dear viewers. Hey guys, I'm so glad we all decided to play One Chunk Minecraft together. We will have an unforgettable adventure. Yeah, that sounds exciting. I heard that in this mode, we are limited to one chunk of land. We will have to be very careful and use resources efficiently. I agree. We must plan our actions wisely. We need to find coal to make torches and light up our chunk. And, of course, we need to provide ourselves with food. Yes, and we also need to build shelter to protect ourselves from enemies. We'll have to be especially careful because we won't be able to get far from our chunk. Right. Let's get started. Split up and explore our chunk. Let's meet in a while and share our findings. Sounds like a plan. I will go deep into the forest and look for wood so we can build the first tools. Okay, I'll go to the river and look for fish or other food. I'll take it upon myself to provide us with coal. I will look for him in the depths of the earth. Great, guys. We proceed according to plan and be careful. We'll meet in a while and see what we've got. A few moments later. So we needed a tree to build our house. Let's start with the tree that's closest here. I agree, but let's be careful not to cut down all the trees in our chunk. We will need their resource for other purposes. Exactly. Let's choose trees in such a way as to preserve at least a small part of the forest. Maybe we can grow new trees later. I found a small group of trees here. Let's start with them. I'll take an axe and start cutting them down. Help me knock down wood. Okay. Let's be careful and work together to do this quickly and efficiently. I will take on the task of collecting fallen wood. I will also help knock down trees and bring them to you. It seems that we will do a lot of work to ensure that there are enough materials to build our house. While we're sourcing wood, let's talk about what style of home we want to create. Maybe something oh, simple and functional? Small. Sounds good. Let's also pay attention to using wood efficiently so that nothing is wasted. A few moments later... So we collected enough wood to build our house. Now let's determine the location where we want to build it. How about this open space next to the river? There's plenty of space and we'll have a beautiful view. I like this idea. And we will have access to water for fishing and watering the garden if we decide to create one. Sounds great. Let's start by marking the foundation. I'll take a shovel and start leveling the ground. Okay, I'll bring some wooden logs and start building the base of our house. Let's make it simple but cozy. I'll help you. Let's install the pillars and connect them with horizontal logs. In the meantime, I'll get more resources to build the roof. We will need twigs and foliage. Great. I will also help with obtaining materials. Let's work together to keep our home strong and secure. We're making a beautiful house, guys. I admire the way he looks. It really is a beautiful combination of the timber logs and the surrounding landscape. Our house stands out from the rest. I agree. We were able to create not only a cozy refuge, but also a beautiful building. I love how we used wood details and textures. And the roof with the knots and foliage gives it such a natural and harmonious look. This is a great solution. Yes, and we also added large glass windows to keep it bright inside, and give us great views of the river and surrounding countryside. We also have a spacious veranda where we can spend time enjoying the fresh air and scenery. Let's not forget about creating a cozy interior. We can make rooms with furniture and decor so that our home is not only beautiful on the outside, but also comfortable on the inside. Yes, we can create a real home that reflects our personality and style. A few moments later... Just look at the house we built. I just can't believe this is our creation. Yeah, that's amazing. We managed to build a beautiful and unique house. I'm so proud of us. We really did a great job. Our house looks so attractive and comfortable. I can't wait to live here. I can't help but smile on my face. It's simply incredible that we were able to create such a cozy and stylish home on our own. We did it together, and the result exceeded all my expectations. This is our corner, our place where we can create unforgettable moments and share joy with each other. Exactly. This house has become not only a physical structure, but also a symbol of our solidarity and friendship. 
Let's raise a glass and celebrate our success for our beautiful home. For our beautiful home. I'm grateful that we have such wonderful friends and the opportunity to create such a wonderful place for us to live. A few moments later. We have a great idea, guys. Let's expand the territory of our house by adding some land. Sounds interesting. We will be able to create more space for a garden, relaxation, and perhaps even a small pond. I fully support this idea. We will be able to diversify our environment and create cozy corners for relaxation and entertainment. How will we expand the territory? I think we can do it on our own. Let's start with the manual work. We can level the ground, remove rocks and sand to create fertile soil. We can also use some of the trees we previously cut down to create small fences or pergolas in the new area. Let's not forget about layout and design. We can use rocks and flowers to create attractive landscaping features. I like the pond idea. We can widen the river or create a small artificial pond where you can fish or just enjoy the view. We're really doing a great job, guys. I'm delighted with our skills and how we're handling our expansion. I agree, our house is getting more beautiful every day. We are a truly talented team. It's so cool to see our ideas come to fruition. We really achieve great results. I feel proud and satisfied every time we complete a new piece of work. Our home has been transformed thanks to our work and creativity. We truly create a place that brings us joy and comfort. I can't believe how far we've come. Not only us, but also our surroundings notice our successes. People come and admire what we have done. Our house has become quite a landmark. I'm glad that we were able to create such a wonderful place that we can be proud of. Let's continue like this. We still have many ideas and possibilities for improving our home. I'm sure we can make it even more impressive. A few moments later. Let's create a cozy atmosphere around our home by planting trees. Great idea. Greenery and trees will add even more beauty and natural harmony to our home. Let's choose a variety of tree species to create an interesting landscape. We can plant fruit trees so we can have fresh fruit right in our yard. The fruit tree idea is great. I imagine how we will enjoy fresh apples, pears, and cherries straight from our garden. Let's also plant some ornamental trees with beautiful flowers and foliage. This will add brightness and picturesqueness to our yard. Great idea! We can choose trees with different shades of foliage to create a beautiful palette of colors. Let's also not forget about trees, which can provide us with shade and protection from the sun. This will be especially pleasant during the hot season. I agree. The shade from the trees will create a nice and cool atmosphere in our yard. We will be able to spend time outdoors enjoying comfort. Let's start planting trees. It will take some effort, but the results will be worth it. I agree. Let's put our energy and care into creating a beautiful garden around our home. A few moments later. Let's create a vegetable garden. Sounds interesting. I love planting and growing different plants in the game. Let's find a suitable place for a vegetable garden. We can choose a flat area and mark its boundaries. Great idea. Let's build a fence or fence around the vegetable garden to protect the plants from hostile mobs. First, let's make some beds. We can use earth blocks or grass blocks for this. Yes, and let's organize a watering system. We can use water buckets or watering tanks to keep the plants hydrated. Let's also choose different types of plants for our garden. We can plant wheat, carrots, potatoes, pumpkins, and much more. Sounds great! Let's plant and grow different crops to have a variety of products. Let's also not forget about fertilizers. We can use compost or humus fertilizers to improve soil fertility and increase crop yields. Yes, fertilizers will help our plants grow faster and produce more fruit. It will be great to harvest from our garden. Let's start creating a vegetable garden. We have a lot of work, but the results will be amazing. I agree. Let's bring our idea to life and create the most wonderful vegetable garden. A few moments later. We did it. We survived the one chunk map in Minecraft. It wasn't easy, but we did it. We showed real survival power. Who would have thought that we could settle down and live in such a small area? Yes, it was a real challenge. But thanks to our teamwork and our skills, we were able to create a functional and safe haven. Our farm with plants and animals is doing great. We have a constant source of food. We were also able to mine fossil resources to create tools, weapons, and defenses. Our home has become a real refuge. We have created comfortable bedrooms and workspaces. And most importantly, we learned to defend ourselves from hostile mobs and defend our territory. I'm proud of us. We demonstrated our endurance, resourcefulness, and unity. We also created a cozy atmosphere and spent time together, exchanging stories and adventures. It was a real challenge, but we overcame it together. We can now be proud survivors of the One Chunk map. Hey guys, I was wondering if we could play Minecraft together. Sure sounds great. 
Let's get together and start the game. But to be honest, the three of us have already decided to play together. Sorry, but we don't want to change the composition of our group. Okay, I understand. If you have your own reasons and preferences, then I do not insist. Maybe I'll find other friends to play with. Sorry I couldn't include you in this game, but this does not mean that we cannot spend time together in other activities. Yes, exactly. We always have other options for spending time together. Please don't be offended. I hope you understand our decisions. We just want to maintain the current momentum of the game. Of course I understand. This happens. Don't worry. I will find other ways to spend time and enjoy games. Thank you for understanding. We can always find other activities in which we can all take part. Exactly. Let's not lose our friendship over this. There are always many more opportunities for us to spend time together. A few moments later. Okay, guys, we have a task to obtain resources to build our bunker. What resources will we need? I think we need to focus on the tree. We will need a lot of wood to build the walls and ceiling. I agree. Let's take our axes with us and go into the forest. There should be enough trees for our needs. Great, but don't forget to collect berries and wheat too. We will need food for our stay in the bunker. That's right, food is very important. We will collect everything we find on our way. In addition, we will need to find ores to create tools and weapons. Let's look for them in caves or on the surface. That's right, we'll need iron, coal, and maybe even diamonds. We will look for underground mines and explore the surrounding area. And don't forget about protection. Let's make some shields and bows with arrows to be ready for mob attacks. Great idea. Protection must come first. Let's also not forget to collect stone for the construction of fortifications. Everything is clear, so let's go. Let's gather the resources we need to create our fortified bunker. Working as a team will make us invincible. A few moments later. Okay guys, let's start building our bunker in Minecraft. Do we have a chosen location for construction? Yes, I found a suitable place near our base. It is located on a small hill and has a good view. Great! Let's start by determining the dimensions of the bunker and its layout. What kind of premises will we need? First of all, we need a main room for living and storing resources. Let's divide it into several sections. Bedroom, kitchen, storage, and work area. We will also need a room for a farm where we can grow plants and raise animals for food. And let's not forget about the security system. Let's create a room with a checkpoint and mechanisms to track enemies. Great ideas. Let's start building the mainframe of the bunker. We use stone or bricks for the walls and ceiling. For extra strength, add reinforcements of iron blocks or obsidian pillars around the entry points. What about ventilation and lighting? We need to ensure constant access to fresh air and sufficient lighting inside the bunker. Right, let's create vents in the walls and install torches or glowstones for lighting. We will also need an entrance door and a locking system for security. We use durable materials such as iron doors or pistons to create locking mechanisms. Once the basic structure is ready, let's start decorating the interior space. We will add furniture, rugs, bookshelves, and other items to make the bunker comfortable and cozy. Great. Once the bunker is completely ready, we can use it as a safe haven and base for our Minecraft adventures. Let's do our best to make our bunker impenetrable and functional. Safety and comfort will be our priorities. We work together and our bunker will become a real fortress. Let's start building and make it the best bunker in all of Minecraft. A few moments later... Traps can be useful to protect our bunker. Let's start with dynamite. Who has stockpiles of explosives? I have several blocks of dynamite. I can use them to create explosive traps around the bunker. Great! Let's place dynamite in strategic places so that the explosions will scare away enemies. For example, at the entrance or near the main passages. Also, let's prepare the spike pits. We can use sand or earth to hide holes from enemies. Good idea. Spiked pits will be able to slow down or damage enemies that fall into them. But be careful not to fall into your own traps. And let's not forget about the traps. We can create pressure plates that activate when someone steps on them. That's right. Traps can be very effective. Let's place them around our bunker and label them so that we ourselves know where they are. Everything is ready. Now our bunker will be well protected from unwanted guests, but don't forget that we must be aware of our pitfalls so as not to fall prey to them. Exactly, safety comes first. Let's be careful and use our traps wisely. I agree. Thanks to our traps, we can enjoy the game in peace, knowing that our bunker is protected. A few moments later... Hooray, we did it! Our bunker is ready! This is absolutely amazing. What a wonderful result. I'm absolutely delighted. Our hard work has paid off and we now have a safe haven. 
we were able to create a safe place where we can hide from enemies and spend time in comfort. And not only safe, but also stylish. Our bunker looks amazing. I agree. Now let's examine the interior space and enjoy the result of our work. Look at this bedroom. Comfortable beds, soft carpets, and luxurious wardrobes. And here is our kitchen. We have everything you need to cook and dine like a five-star restaurant. And don't forget about our work area. Here we have all the tools and tables for repairing and creating new items. And what about the farm? Let's check how our plants and animals are doing. They're thriving. We have an abundance of wheat, carrots, and potatoes. And our animals look happy too. We have created a real oasis in this Minecraft world. I'm proud of our work. Me too. Now we have a place where we can feel safe and enjoy the game. Friends, thank you for working together on this project. Without you, this would not have been possible. Yes, through our combined efforts, we have achieved amazing results. Now let's relax and enjoy our new bunker. A few moments later. We need to see what Spike, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie are up to. Wow, they've already built a whole bunker and made a minefield so that no one can get to them. It will be very difficult for me to get into their house to take revenge on them for not wanting to play with me. I think I have a great idea on how I can get through the minefield and a bunch of traps they have prepared for those who want to get into their bunker. I'll kill a few pigs now to get some meat, and then wait until nightfall to pay the monsters with port meat to defuse these traps. I'm sure I'll succeed. A few moments later. Great! I waited until nightfall and collected enough meat to negotiate with the monsters to disarm the traps. Hey guys, I have some meat for you. In return, I want you to disarm the traps at the entrance to the bunker that Spike, Rainbow Dash, and Pinkie Pie made. Collect as many zombies as possible so that they can clear all the traps. I'm sure that you will be able to do everything in the best possible way. Let's get started immediately. A few I must later. take revenge on them for this. A few moments later. Great. The zombies didn't fool me and were able to defuse all the traps made by Rainbow Dash, Pinkie Pie, and Spike. Now I can easily get inside the bunker and take revenge on them. I am sure that they are sleeping now and do not at all expect that someone might get into their bunker because they think their traps have protected them. Great. While they are sleeping, I will mine their bunker from the inside because they did not want to play with me. They will have to extract all the resources from the very beginning. Get what you deserve, traitors. I'll put as much dynamite as possible so that nothing remains of this place. Hello, friends. It's Fluttershy. I'm so glad to see you here. But wow, it looks like we ended up on an island in the void where there is nothing. Just a house and nothing around. This sounds quite strange, doesn't it? But you know, I believe that together we can cope with any situation. Even if there is only emptiness around us, we have each other and our mutual support. It is important to remember that we can use our imagination and creativity. Let's be brave and look for ways to adapt to the new situation. Maybe we'll find resources to help us survive, or entertainment to make our days here interesting and fun. But most importantly, let's support each other and not lose hope. We can create our own small community where each of us will share our ideas and skills. So friends, let's explore this mysterious island in the void together. Find ways to survive and create a cozy world inside this house. Thank you for being here with us. Dear viewers, let our adventure begin. Hey, 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 hello viewers. This is Rainbow Dash and I'm ready to slingshot this island in the void. Who said emptiness has to be boring? No chance. I see this as a new adventure a new opportunity for us to show what we can do. After all, we have everything to cope with this challenge. Courage and of course, our friendship. Let's use this house in the void as our base of operations. I suggest we start with resource discovery. We can use our skills to create a place where we feel comfortable. Let's not forget that we are here together as friends and mutual support is our main weapon. Let's support each other, challenge each other and have fun on this incredible island in the void. Dear viewers, get ready, because our adventure is about to begin. Friends, I suggest we go down one floor and see what we find there. Who knows, maybe we will find something valuable there that will help us survive. Ooh, look friends, we went down one floor and here, wow, these are chests, a balcony, and even stoves. And there are cakes on the stoves. I can't believe my eyes. 
Wow, there are so many different things here. We can use these items for our survival and comfort. And what is it? Cakes! They look so delicious. I think this is a small gift for us from this mysterious island. Let's enjoy these delicious treats together after we explore this island in its entirety. What do you think of the idea? So, friends, let's continue our adventure on this mysterious island together. Let every day be filled with discoveries, friendship, and, of course, delicious cakes. Quite an attractive house, don't you think? Let's take a look at what's in the chests. Wow, there are a lot of carrots here. What do we do? Let's go and see what awaits us on the next floor. Maybe something even more interesting awaits us there than here. Hmm, I wonder what we might find on the next floor. Look at this, it's like a huge balcony. There are two chests here. I wonder what is in them. What is this? Hoes and axes. They will be useful to us for creating a vegetable garden, removing weeds and trees, and even for building small structures. With these tools, we will have no obstacles that we cannot overcome. I feel like a real builder and gardener. With these tools, we can create a beautiful vegetable garden that will not only be useful for us, but will also add beauty and life to this emptiness. Friends, this is an amazing opportunity. Go ahead, friends. Let's show this emptiness that we can create beauty and fertility even where it is not expected. Together, we will make this vegetable garden the most wonderful place here. And when we enjoy the fruits of our labor, we will know that it was possible thanks to our friendship and our determination to overcome any obstacles. I suggest you split up. Rainbow Dash and I will start building a vegetable garden, and Pinkie Pie and Applejack will go look for some seeds to plant. Me and Applejack are going in search of the best seeds for our garden. We want to grow the most delicious and juicy fruits and vegetables. Forward to adventure and searching for seeds. We are confident that we will find the best varieties that will make our garden a real paradise. I believe that our vegetable garden will become not only a source of food, but also a place where we can spend time in harmony. I see our garden as a place where we can enjoy fresh and organic food grown with love and care. We will spend time caring for the plants, watering and fertilizing them, and watch them grow and develop. Ultimately, we will reap the fruits of our labor and enjoy natural food that is full of flavor and nutrition. We will create a real piece of paradise, which will be filled with greenery, flowers, and taste. Let's make our dreams come true and make our garden a truly magical place. On our journey in search of the best seeds for the garden, we will hunt for unique and rare varieties that will bring unique diversity and special flavor to our land. We strive to create an oasis where every bite is a feast for our taste buds. Wow, what is this? Let's go quickly and see what's inside. Maybe we'll find something valuable there or some kind of seeds. Let's go quickly. What a creepy place. I hope this is not a trap and we actually find something here. What do you think? It's a little scary to open this chest, but we need to do it. Wow, there are potatoes here as well as wheat seeds and carrots. Friends, we are in full swing of building our vegetable garden. Rainbow Dash and I are working together to create a place where nature can thrive and where we can enjoy fresh vegetables and fruits. We will do everything possible to keep our garden green and lush. We will take care of it until the plants turn into juicy fruits, vegetables, and berries. We will create a real paradise for our tasty and healthy harvest. Friends, we are so happy that we can share this exciting process with you. Follow us to find out how our garden will be transformed and what delicious surprises it will prepare for us. Pinkie Pie and I are returning from our expedition with some amazing finds. Not only did we find potato, carrot, and wheat seeds, but we also found something really special. Bones. Yes, you heard right. Bones. We decided to use them to create bone meal, which will be an excellent fertilizer for our plants. Who would have thought that bones could be so useful? First, we'll plant the seeds, and then use bone meal to fertilize them. Friends, we are glad to see you again. We are confident that the seeds and bone meal you found will help us create a wonderful vegetable garden. We have already built the beds and are ready to start planting. How amazing. I'm so glad we're all working on this project together. Let's see how you plant seeds in our garden. You see, friends, we have several beds here, each designed for a specific type of plant. We want to create comfortable conditions for each plant. It's me, Fluttershy, and I have some exciting news to share with you today. Our vegetable garden is finally planted and I'm very happy. Just look at this magnificent sight. Our hard work and dedication has paid off, and we now have a garden full of potential and promise. 
Each plant carries the magic of growth and life. These little sprouts are like delicate treasures waiting to reveal their beauty to us. I can almost feel their gratitude for the care and attention we gave them. This vegetable garden is more than just a collection of plants. It is a refuge for life to flourish. This is a place where we can connect with nature. Oh, my dear viewers, it's hard to believe that our time together has come to an end. I admit, I feel a pang of sadness in my heart. We've had so many wonderful moments, haven't we? From exploring the garden to experiencing the wonders of nature, it was a journey of discovery. There are so many more stories to tell, adventures to go on. Thank you for being a part of our lives. Until next time, my wonderful viewers. Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and never forget the magic that surrounds us. Goodbye, and see you on our next adventure. Hey guys, I decided to try speedrunning Minecraft. I have a plan to beat the game as quickly as possible. Are any of you ready to help me? Sounds interesting. I love Minecraft too, but are you sure you can complete it very quickly? I'm ready to try to interfere with you to complicate the task. I'll join the jamming team too. I like the idea of a challenge and testing your skills. I've got some neat tricks up my sleeve. Hmm, I'm not sure I can do a good job of disrupting you, but I'd be happy to join in the game. Maybe I'll find something interesting and help you in my own way. Great, I'm glad you all joined. Let's start. My goal is to complete the game as quickly as possible collecting the necessary resources and reaching the end. Your task is to create obstacles that complicate my game. But remember that you must be honest and not use cheats. Okay, I will keep an eye on you and try to create obstacles in your path. Maybe I'll block the entrances to the caves or create traps. I'll try to create labyrinths or intricate structures so that you spend time finding your way. I can also hide the necessary items. I'll explore the map and look for special items that might get in your way. For example, I can find a chest with mobs that will attack you. Sounds great. Let's start our game and see how quickly I can complete Minecraft, despite your obstacles. It will be interesting to see who wins this fight. A few moments later... I have a few seconds of head start in order to run some distance and start speedrunning in Minecraft. This is my only chance to break away from the hunters, and also speed up my progress. Great. I was lucky not to crash. I think that hunters will not jump because they will be afraid of breaking. Oh no, they decided to jump down after all. Ha 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 ha. They didn't manage to fly to the water. Now they will have to spend a huge amount of time in order to find another way down from this mountain. During this time, I will have time to chop as much wood as possible to make myself wooden tools, such as a sword and a wooden pickaxe. With the help of these tools, I will be able to quickly obtain other resources, as well as get meat, protect myself from zombies that appear at night, and the sword will also help me protect myself from hunters who will try their best to stop me from completing Minecraft. Great! I was able to get enough wood to make planks and use them to make my own wooden tools. I think I should run as far as possible, because the hunters will soon overtake me. I think I should run towards the desert to find a temple in which I can find chests with valuable supplies. A few moments later... Desert temples usually contain chests that can contain various valuables and items. These can be precious minerals, gold, diamonds, iron, seeds, books, as well as tools and weapons. I can use these items for my speed run and further progress in the game. Desert temples are known for their traps, which can be hidden in or around the building. These can be falling blocks, arrows, explosives, or activated by clicking on certain blocks. I must be careful and carefully explore the temple to detect and avoid these traps. Some temples may contain riddles or puzzles that must be solved to gain access to treasures or additional rooms within the temple. This could be arranging certain blocks, activating buttons in a certain sequence, or even using levers and scales. I must be prepared to think and study the temple thoroughly to solve these mysteries. I'm sure we're right on Fluttershy's trail. I'm sure that he ran to this temple, since he can find valuable things there that will help him complete Minecraft very quickly. You need to quickly run inside the temple to prevent Fluttershy from getting valuable resources. We managed to find Fluttershy Rainbow, jump to him and stop him from hiding. Oh no, the hunters discovered me. I have a great idea on how I can hide from them. There is a huge pile of dynamite right next door. I'm sure they'll decide to jump down. And I made a trap for them from pressure plates that activate dynamite. It seems that Rainbow Dash has come to an end. We need to find another way to stop Fluttershy. He's definitely finished. I think they won't come here now. 
I bought myself enough time to escape from them. A few moments later. Great. I managed to hide from the hunters. Now I have enough time to find diamonds that will help me buy all the necessary items to go down to the Land of Ender. To kill the Ender Dragon, I will need a good weapon. It is recommended to use a diamond sword. Wear durable and high-quality armor to protect yourself from attacks from the dragon and other mobs in the Ender World. It is recommended to use a full set of diamond armor, which will provide you with a high level of protection. Great. I managed to get enough diamonds to buy enderpels from the merchant with which I can find the location. Oh no, the hunters were able to find me. I need to run away as quickly as possible before they took all my resources. And I had to start the passage from the very beginning. I think that I need to get out of this cave as soon as possible in order to escape. Great. Here they won't be able to reach me, and for such a case, I have saved myself three anvils, which I will drop on their heads if they decide to climb to the top after me. Guys, better not try to catch up with me. A few moments later. Great. I managed to break away from the hunters again, and now I have enough time to buy the required number of ender pearls from the merchant, which will help me find the way to the temple in which I will make a portal to the Eater world in order to kill the dragon and complete Minecraft. It is necessary to follow the flight of the Eye of the Edge. You need to throw them up. They will begin to float in the air. I'll try to aim and throw the Eye of the Portal so that it flies in a certain direction. I will follow the Eye until it falls to the ground and begins to float again. This will indicate proximity to the Ender Temple. I'm doing great. I feel like I'll soon be in the right place. The Hunters will not be able to find me soon because after my traps, I don't think they will want to mess with me at all. I feel like I'm already close. There is very little left. Now the most important thing is not to make a mistake in the direction, because you can start running in the wrong direction for a very down. long time. Great. I ended up in the Anadur Temple, and now I need not to get lost in this maze, because I can lose a huge amount of time in order to find the right door that will lead me to the portal to the Ender World. I feel like I'm moving in the right direction. Great, I managed to find a portal to the Ender World. And now the most important thing is to install the Ender Pearls in the right direction. Otherwise, I will not be able to activate the portal to the Ender World. I am sure that I will be able to do everything right and I will be able to become the fastest speedrunner in Minecraft. A few moments later. Great, I ended up in the Ender World and now the hunters don't have a single chance to stop me. I will deal with this dragon so quickly that the hunters will not even have time to understand anything. It seems to me that we will meet them only at the top. I so quickly obtained all the necessary resources to get into the Enderworld, as well as diamond armor and a sword, that I will kill this dragon very quickly. Great! I feel that the dragon has almost no health left and all I need to do is deal a few hits and I will complete Minecraft. Great! I completed Minecraft and the hunters couldn't stop me. I want to meet them soon and talk about a it. A few moments later. Hooray! I just set a new speed record for completing Minecraft. Incredible, Fluttershy. Congratulations. I can't believe you were able to beat the game so quickly. Wow, Fluttershy. You surprised me. I even tried to stop you, but apparently your skills are simply invulnerable. Thank you, Pinky. I knew that you always supported me in games. Your words motivated me and helped me achieve this result. Yes, I always believed in you, Fluttershy. You are a true gamer and your achievements impress me. I thought I could detain you and emerge victorious, but you turned out to be too fast and savvy. Let's forget all our previous contradictions and celebrate my achievement together. You deserve congratulations. I understand that you are a real Minecraft pro. 